Each district in Kentucky receives its own risk assessment, but they are not released to the public in order to protect vulnerabilities. Its purpose is to help schools improve their level of safety. The report itself that just came out this week is a culmination of all of the risk assessments put together and gives us a good blanket of what's going on in the state of Kentucky. After House Bill 63 was passed last year, the school safety risk assessment report has only continued to improve. House Bill 63 requires that each Kentucky school campus have a school resource officer. We're still not at 100 percent of the campuses covered, but uh, with the passing of HB 63, we did have a 33 percent increase in officers uh, covering our campuses. Wilcox also says there are three different sections in which they assess the school in accordance with the School Safety and Resiliency Act. First is the access control portion, which ensures doors are being locked, cameras are working, and more. Second is making sure trauma-informed care is up to date and there are clear emergency operation plans. And last is current trends where schools go above and beyond with their safety, which can help other schools improve as well. Price is checking the box. Commitment is making sure we're doing it. We're doing it for the right reasons. And that's what we're seeing across the state. Wilcox says he's proud of Kentucky and hopes for the continued improvement and standard of school safety. The numbers look phenomenal. Uh, we're on our we're starting our fifth assessment. So schools have been assessed four times already. They understand uh, and they understand why the mandates are in place. It's not just, oh, it's a law we have to follow. No, it's a law that we follow to keep our kids safe. The school safety risk assessment report changes with new legislation and trends to ensure each report is diligent in evaluating the safety of schools. Reporting in Lexington, Jane Davenport, ABC 36, on your side.